On February 27, 2015, 18-year-old Daylin Pua, who was staying with his grandmother over the weekend, told her that he was going out for a hike. Neither him or his remains would ever be seen again. Then, upon closer inspection of the photos he sent loved ones shortly before his disappearance, they discovered something eerie. There appears to be a man on the trail behind him. Hey humans, it's Hannah. Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, I do videos on creepy and disturbing things. So if that's also your thing, consider subscribing. So today we're talking about the Stairway to Heaven hike in Hawaii. On the island of Oahu, there's a giant hiking trail made up completely of stairs. It's an extremely steep stairway with 3,922 steps leading up to the top. It's also over 2,000 feet high. This hike is known as Stairway to Heaven, given the beautiful view that you get at the top. It's also known as the Haiku Stairs. The stairway was originally built back in the 1940s for the US Coast Guard, but when they no longer needed to get up there, upkeep and maintenance of the stairs also stopped. So because of how dangerous it now was, the hike was permanently closed in 1987. The city actually did pay $875,000 back in 2003 to have the stairs repaired, but they still did not open it to the public. So now, of course, there's always police officers and security around to stop people from going on the hike. In 2014 alone, six people were arrested for taking these stairs and 135 others were cited because they were sneaking onto the property. It's considered second degree criminal trespassing if you take these stairs and that holds a $1,000 fine. However, if you go on to tohawaii.com, there's a bunch of common and reviews of the trail of other hikers encouraging people to go on it anyway. They even give a bunch of tips on there and very specific routes for how people should go in order not to get caught. And then on the same site, there's also a bunch of comments and reviews from people discouraging you to go on the hike, which probably, at least from what I read, probably law enforcement and the neighborhood watch group that is trying to scare people from going on to it and kind of talking about the terrible consequences that can come from sneaking in. And honestly, I don't really blame them. All these hikers on their property in this area probably make a bunch of noise, they probably litter, and they're generally just probably a nuisance. And from all my research, the local residents that live near the trail really, really hate tourists sneaking on and trying to hike. Some of the blogs that I read actually said that these residents will scream and yell at you as you're hiking up the trail and scream obscenities at you. Residents in the area have also been known to put booby traps near the fencing that lead into the area. There was a report of one guy who was trying to jump the fence. He lost his footing and he fell on this giant wooden box that had nails sticking out of it and it like punctured his neck. So while I understand why it's illegal and forbidden, I also think making it illegal and forbidden also makes lots of people and thrill seekers want to go on it that much more. It doesn't seem like the trail itself is really that dangerous or hazardous from videos that I've seen of people climbing. Lots and lots of people, most people make it to the top and down just fine. It's just that it's such a liability that they keep it illegal because there's spots on the stairs that are less stable than others and it's just way too big of a liability. It's not really that the stairs are super, super hazardous and lots and lots of people die every time they attempt it. It's not like Everest. And then on the back side of the stairs, there's actually a legal path where you can get to the top. It's called the Moana Lua Valley Trail, but you can hike up the back side of the staircase basically and get the same view. Again, from videos I've seen of the legal way, it looks just as much, if not more terrifying as the illegal way, but people do it anyway. And you'd think that that would be enough so that people would avoid the stairs, but it's really not. Like I said, thrill seekers and people that really like breaking the rules, it seems to feel like way more of an accomplishment to take the illegal way up and get to the top that way. So let's get back to Dalen Pua. It's important to note that some of the details of this case vary a lot from source to source. Most of the sources I read said that he disappeared on Friday, February 27th, 2015. But the Facebook post that he last wrote about going hiking was on February 26th, 2015. So this could have just been a weird timing thing, but I'm not sure exactly. 
Additionally, he most of the sources say that he's 18 years old, but I've also read in some places that he was only 17 years old. Not super important to the story, but just a side note. So Dalen actually lived in Hawaii, but was visiting Oahu specifically for a school field trip. He ended up staying with his grandmother named Martha Bear over the weekend, and he actually talked to her about his interest in visiting the Stairway to Heaven. Of course, his grandmother told him that the hike was closed and that he could be arrested if he took it. So when he left on February 27th, he told his grandmother he was going hiking and his grandmother didn't think much of it. She was assuming that he picked a different hike as they already discussed how that one was illegal and that he wouldn't take that one. Daylin took some selfies on the stairs of the hike as well as photos of the hike itself. He sent these photos to loved ones around 11 a.m. that morning, and after that, he was never seen from or heard from again. So his family reported him missing, and the search began. The fire department, volunteers, and many others searched and searched the area for Dalen or any sign of him for days. And here's another thing that also varies from source to source. I found a lot of different stories on this particular detail, but the gist is, one way or another, there was witnesses that heard Dalen screaming from below. He was screaming for help below, or at least we assume it was Dalen. A news report that I watched said that it was two nurses who happened to be hiking the legal way up the trail on the backside on Monday when he had disappeared on Friday, and they heard his screams and cries for help. A blog post that I read said that it was actually the volunteers that heard him. So like I said, the details are a little bit convoluted, but somebody heard him. There were witnesses one way or another that heard him cry for help. But sadly, nobody ever found him during the search. And to this day, like I said, none of his remains have ever been found. So let's get on to the theories. The most obvious and likely theory is that he fell. The stairs on the hike had been damaged again in a storm that happened in February 2015, which was shortly before Dalen went on his hike. So maybe he ran into trouble there. It's also a freaking steep stairway. I've seen some pictures where it practically looks like a ladder. It is so steep and you're just holding onto these handrails and taking this really narrow path like practically straight up. I'm not a huge fan of heights though, so seeing that kind of footage makes me particularly nervous, so maybe I'm particularly sensitive to it, but it does seem like you could just slip and somehow fall off of the railing and just, you're gone. It's very unlikely that he got lost. If his death was an accident, then he must have fallen because there's just one straight path up to the top. There's no wrong turns you could take. So he must have fallen if it was indeed an accident. So the second theory is that he met foul play. In one of the last photos that Dalen ever took, he took a picture of the view from where he was at that point of the hike, and it was of the stairs itself. Internet sleuths studied this photo and someone found a figure within it, looking like a white man in dressed in black crouched down kind of in the bushes and he was trailing Dalen on the hike. When you first look at the picture, pretty much nobody sees anything. It's really hard to see what they're talking about until you look at the blown up versions of the pictures, which internet sleuths again helped with. They blew it way up and you can clearly see a man there and his head. Investigators were so sure that there was a man in this photo that they did start asking people to come forward if they knew who this man was or if they were this man, that they wanted to talk to him and see if he could give any more insight into what happened to Daylin. The Reddit community of course went nuts with this. A lot of people think that this is proof that Dalen was being stalked and perhaps that this man had bad intentions and he did meet foul play. Others say that it was just another man hiking on a nice day on the trail and he just happened to take a picture and he was way behind him on the stairs. Other people speculate that it's clear the man behind him is just trying to take a dump and Dalen happened to get him in one of his photos. Some people say that the photo is completely fake and when somebody blew it up, they photoshopped the image of the man into it. And this is because in the original photo, you can hardly see anything there, which I have to admit is true. I found one commenter on Reddit who said that this guy has already since been identified and he was questioned and cleared of any guilt. But this commenter didn't cite any source for his statement. And when I tried to look it up, I couldn't find any articles stating that this man has ever been identified. So I don't really believe that comment. Another commenter said that he actually knows the guy 
in the photo and that they're friends and that of course he had nothing to do with Daylin's disappearance. I have a hard time with this comment too because like first of all of course you would say that and he can't prove that he actually knows the guy and even if he could prove that he knows the guy it gives us no proof that he's innocent. Plus, why would he not come forward to the police and identify him to the police if this random person knew this guy? Unless he did, but, and we don't know it, but. Overall, this photo does add a level of creepiness and mystery to this whole thing. Since no one knows what happened to Daylin and there's no official proof that it was an accident or that he is deceased, it just makes us think of every possible scenario and makes other random scenarios seem more likely. Overall, I do believe that the most likely scenario is that it was an accident. Daylin probably just fell or slipped or took a wrong turn or he went over the rails and he slipped and fell off. You know how frequently people will go over railings to take a better picture and then they end up falling off. It actually happens frequently. It could have just as easily been another hiker on the trail behind him just minding his own business but I do have to admit that it's weird that he never came forward, or at least he's never been identified as far as we know. You'd think this guy would have heard about it on the news and realized that he was a potential witness and would have called police as soon as possible, not only to clear his name, but to help the investigation. I have a hard time believing that he was on the trail the same time as Daylin and didn't see anything or didn't get suspicious when he didn't pass Daylin on his way back down, that he didn't notice that this boy kind of disappeared. But I also understand when you're hiking, you're kind of in your own world. And if you never saw him, you wouldn't make any assumptions, but you'd think you'd at least call the police when you realized the person you were with is missing. So there's another rumor that they did actually find a body, but it was nowhere near this trail. And as far as I know, it has since been identified as somebody else and it was not Daylin. So conclusion, I think it probably was an accident, but I do think that this photo adds some level of just something off or just something really odd about this horrible, horrible story. It looks like at least for now, this one's gonna remain a mystery. So that's gonna be it for Daylin Pua's story. I just wish his family would get some closure. Please let me know what you think or if you have theories down in the comments below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, especially if you made it to the end and I will see you all in the next video.